New at 6, new tension over developments on Saplow Island. McIntosh County has approved a liquor license for a bar and grill in the island's only community center and clinic space. That's on East West Audubon near Old River Road. It's causing the island's potential medical provider to rethink their plans. WTOC investigative anchor Haley Bolin has been looking into the issue on one of Georgia's last intact Gullah Geechee communities. Haley joins us now live in the studio and brings us part two of a split Sapelo Island. Yeah, Mike and John, the Sapelo Community Center has been in the Gullah Geechee community of Hog Hammock on Sapelo Island since the 1980s. Now owned by the county, it's long since been an area where Gullah people would gather. Now that space is set to become a bar and grill. On an island accessible only by ferry, resources can be quite limited. This is hundreds of years of survival, and now it's, no, you want to change it. And, you know, it makes, it's, it's confusing to know that we don't, we're not really cared for. The Sapelo Community Center had previously been used as a meeting space and to provide services to seniors. It's also a voting precinct and where the island stores its fire truck. But this was where we met. It's the way we gather, the way we communicate. Like I said, that was our doctor office back there. You know, we don't have anything like that now. According to McIntosh County, the building fell into disrepair. The county allocated Federal American Rescue Plan Act funds in 2022 and 2023 to improve the building. After repairs, the county put out a request for proposals this past December for operation of the community center. Tony Thaw says he's lived full time on the island for three years. The county granted him the contract and allowed him to lease the building from the county to operate a bar and grill. We figured the only way this is going to happen is if we do it and get it started and hand it over. And so that's what we've, you know, that's what we're doing. In accordance with McIntosh County zoning laws, bars can operate in Hog Hammock if they apply for a special use permit. The county granted Thaw an alcohol license for the restaurant by a vote of three to two and said he does not need to apply for a special use permit. In a statement to WTOC, the county manager says in part, quote, it has long been established that a county may use property it owns for a governmental purpose, even though the use violated its own zoning ordinance. There was no location in which the visitors or residents could purchase prepared food on the island. It is my opinion and it is the opinion of the county attorney that this use is clearly, quote, for a governmental purpose. It's something Roger Lawson, the county commissioner representing Sapelo, says he's against. I disagree with that interpretation and, and find it only to be um, convenient. WTOC investigates obtained a copy of the lease agreement. It says the tenant is required to allow continual access to the island's only fire truck, as well as the two medical rooms within the community center. The CEO of Coastal Community Health, a local health care provider, had previously considered providing medical services at the community center. However, after touring the island and learning of the recent developments, they say they just can't do it. Ideally, we, we could not operate our, our health clinic in that space. Uh, it would not be ideal for the services we'd like to provide. And why is that? Well, we've never had a health center, uh, you know, inside of a restaurant space. Dr. Chandler says they're now seeking other opportunities to provide health care on the island. Coastal Community Health remains committed to providing health care on the island, and we will do everything we can to do that um, with the support and direction of the community but that particular space will not work for us. Meanwhile, back on the island, descendants like Alan Bailey, a former NFL player, say they're worried about the future of the Hog Hammock community. And now they're trying to do it for profit when it should be for the community and not for profit. Islanders I spoke with say this goes beyond their home. It's, it's not just about us too, and we're thinking about everyone else, you know, other communities just like us, so, and that's why we have to fight this. Meanwhile, Thaw says he hopes his business fills a need on the island. We'll all have a nice place to go enjoy together, you know, it's, it's for everybody. A centuries-old community divided over decisions for the island's future. WTOC reached out to the state attorney general's office to get an official assessment regarding McIntosh County acknowledging their own zoning violation. They say they can't comment on the matter. Meanwhile, Thaw says he hopes to have the bar and grill operational by July 4th. Thanks a lot, Haley. And don't forget, you can go back and watch part one of the series. All you have to do is head to the investigates page on WTOC.com. We'll be right back.